organizer of the um, M. Uh, Methuselah Foundation Undergraduate Research Initiative has put in a grant proposal to this members project and they're doling out two and a half million dollars but uh, many people uh, any nonprofit any organization can submit a request for funding to this members project right and they allow people to vote on what projects uh, they want to support and it's something oh it's a lot of I don't know it, it might be 2,500 people have to vote for the project before it will be considered uh, so uh, go to the Immortality Institute forums here and take a look uh, there's simple instructions on how you can submit a vote to support undergrads fighting age related diseases that's the group we're trying to support, uh, and it's uh, uh, being run by the Methuselah Foundation Undergraduate Research Initiative. Uh, so uh, go to that forum, find out how to uh, submit a vote to this American Express Members Project, and we'll see if we can get enough people to sign up to, uh, to uh, get consideration for some of this grant money. That would be awesome. I know uh, Broken Portal, he is working on that uh, quite a bit. Uh, and trying to get a lot of money raised for M. Fury, which reminds me that we have a lot of different meetings starting up now that we're hosting or we're hand, uh, going through the uh, Sunday evening update channel here uh, through the week. Uh, you know, we usually have an open board meeting of the Immortality Institute once a week, and I think it's going to be on Thursdays now uh, at 5 p.m., Central time, the same time, but on Thursdays, most weeks we'll have an open board meeting uh, right here. You can tune in live. Then also, with all the projects going on at the Immortality Institute, uh, Broken Portal, uh, a member at the institute, is trying to get some meetings going once a week. And these are things that you can just, you know, you don't have to commit any time. Come to the meeting here at the channel. Uh, and you might be able to just uh, put in a, your two cents, a couple of ideas that would help out. Uh, and uh, we're trying to get some small groups of people to focus on some of the projects that we have going at the Immortality Institute, which is, I mean, the projects are limit, endless, but we've got a few that we're uh, working on, and one of them is raising money for the Methuselah Foundation Undergraduate Research Initiative. It looks like uh, the Immortality Institute is going to uh, donate $2,000 to their scholarship fund, which is a great thing. Uh, but uh, members want to also find some other ways to raise money for uh, M Theory. That's short version of <laughs> Methuselah Foundation Undergraduate Research Initiative, M Theory. Okay, there's the American Express project, but also there are many other ways possibly that uh, we could raise money uh, and get undergrads working on age related diseases and there's going to be a meeting this Monday. Now, I don't know if Eric is here uh, watching the program tonight. However, uh, I believe the meeting might be at 4 o'clock Central, which is 2100 GMT, uh, 10, 11 o'clock in Europe, I think, uh, on Mondays. M Fury, a meeting, it's half hour, hour long, just to uh, kind of see who wants to get involved and what kind of uh, uh, avenues we can explore to make, uh, bring in some more funds for M Fury. And then also on Wednesdays, two meetings uh, that are going now every week. One of them is for Folding at Home. Uh, that I just mentioned the Folding at Home prize. I'll bring that picture up once again for you. Uh, the Folding at Home prize is something that the Immortality Institute and the Longevity Museum are sponsoring. And we always are trying to uh, you know, find ways that we can uh, increase participation and get the longevity meme team rocketing up the rankings and gain visibility for the longevity movement. So, uh, a meeting on Wednesdays at three o'clock. Wednesday, three o'clock in the afternoon Central Time. That would be four p.m. Eastern Time, uh, and that'd be about uh, ten o'clock p.m. in much of Europe. Ten or eleven o'clock. After that, immediately following the Folding at Home Prize meeting. There's a general brainstorming uh, roundtable discussion for members to participate in, uh, or anyone who wants to uh, bring in some ideas for the Immortality Institute. So, 
Uh, we've got four different things going, five different things going on throughout the week now at the Immortality Institute channel uh, here, the Sunday evening update channel, I should say. So, hey, find some time to participate. Uh, you know, stop on by, just uh, kind of listen, see what's going on. Uh, in some of these meetings, they'll be going on once a week now, hopefully, as we head into the fall. Another thing I want to mention is the Convergence Conference. Of course, that's another big project that we're going to be working on uh, as we get through the next couple of months, and it's rapidly approaching. Mark it on your calendar. We don't have a website up yet for the conference where you can go and register. However, it is going to be on November 15th and 16th at the Computer History Museum in the Bay Area in the United States. And I'm going to push for live streaming of the conference. Uh, for those of you, I know it's a long ways to travel for many of you. So I'm going to see if we can uh, get live streaming. But you want to attend because there's nothing like being there with all uh, your compadres, all your like-minded uh, people who are striving for longevity and health. And all uh, you know, there are a lot of different topics that are going to be going uh, covered because there's many different organizations coming together to produce this Convergence Conference. So there's going to be a lot on synthetic biology and nanotech and, you know, biotech and uh, um, probably some health and supplement uh, form uh, uh, forums there, some debates possibly. You know, there's a lot of different things uh, going on. Yeah, hey, monitoring the chat here. Johan, hey, thanks for the compliment. He says he likes the name of the channel, the Sunday Evening Update. Yeah. Change that. It used to be Immortality Update. Change it to Sunday Evening Update. I don't know how it all of a sudden just became that, but uh, that's the way it is. And that's one of the fun things about tuning in is that, uh, you know, we have the text chat going along with uh, the program. You can always uh, submit your comments or questions, especially when we have a guest. Uh, when we ever have a guest like Kevin Parrott, who unfortunately couldn't make it here tonight, but will reschedule. Uh, the text chat makes it perfect uh, to ask questions of leading researchers and advocates from around the world. Okay, something else, uh, the hot topic. I always want to cover a hot topic going on uh, throughout the week, and this is one that really has been on fire recently, Alzheimer's research. Now, perhaps you saw the, um, this is in the last week or two, uh, the Tau Pharmaceuticals, or Tau RX company, it's in Singapore, and they have this uh, trial uh, with a new drug that uh, works on the tau proteins, all the big tangles of the tau proteins that sup that some people uh, would say are the key problem with the key pathology with Alzheimer's, how it develops and why uh, it happens. You know, you know, you get the picture. But their drug apparently uh, removes these tangles of uh, tau proteins. Uh, these malformed tau proteins, and, and they've had, uh, I don't know, I think they've gone through phase two trials already or something like that, but it, it's big news. It's exciting. Here's their website, uh, and I know uh, at the Immortality Institute forums here, the first one I brought up here, there is a discussion about this breakthrough drug. You'll find it on the active topics list, and Michael Ray posted a great review. It's rather in-depth. It's a real good review, but very in-depth and, and pretty technical about uh, Tau RX's new drug, and there's a link to it. If you go to the Active Tops, find this this uh, forum topic: Breakthrough Drug Could Halt Alzheimer's. Uh, you'll find a link in there to Michael Ray's review, and he's pretty upbeat about it. Michael Ray, he's also an advisor for the Methuselah Foundation, very upbeat about this drug. And you know what? Another thing that uh, many of the SENS proponents have been uh, monitoring is. Uh, Elan Pharmaceuticals and their uh, products. Uh, here's just a list of some of Elan's products uh, that they have and they're primarily uh, focusing on Alzheimer's research, but they developed a recent uh, Alzheimer's treatment that uh, somehow, I don't have it all here with me, but it's, it activates the immune system to clear out uh, amyloid beta plaques, uh, clear out the plaques out of your brain and Alzheimer's patients. Uh, so that's another very promising uh, here avenue for Alzheimer's uh, treatment and Alzheimer's research. So uh, it's a real hot uh, area of research right now and I can see why, I mean, many pharmaceutical companies uh, are you know, pursuing this because the world is aging. I mean, uh, most Western countries, industrialized, industrialized nations, but I, I mean, even in uh, you know, China and Asia, uh, many, uh, uh, many countries around the world, the, the vast number of 
members of the population now are getting above like 50 years old.